Thanks very much, Peter. I've got to get into the weather. Look at this. This is when you go back to university, slightly older. It's so much more valuable. You sort of, you, it's almost like you get it. You've been out a bit. You realize the importance of the education, and you get so much more from it. My, my degree from the University of Alberta is worth more than its weight in gold. It's just, you know, it was eye-opening. It was just, it was a brilliant, brilliant experience. So in a way, I consider that my degree that really made me who I am today. I can't believe I'm an alumni. I can't believe I'm a distinguished alumni. When they phoned me, I kept saying, it's Claire Martin, like the, the weather girl. You've got the right Claire Martin, because I think there were a few of us that year. I was born in Saskatoon. Medicine at that time seemed awfully expensive. And so what I finally did was when I went to University of Alberta, I took a year of engineering. And uh, I did all right after that. And then people said, well, if you really want medicine, why don't you do it? So I took my pre-med and, and med at the University of Alberta. And then I interned at the Walter McKenzie Center. The interest that our professors had in, in us as students, we really learned from them. We really learned. I was born in Edmonton. While my father was attending the University of Alberta, my father was an electrical engineer. My mother was also a U of A graduate. She had a BSc in home economics. Back in the 60s, there wasn't a lot a woman can do with just a, a BA. And I wasn't sure I wanted to teach or be a nurse or the traditional sorts of things. And I thought that law would just give me that edge. I had actually never intended to practice law, but I ended up articling to the Chief Justice of Alberta. and From there, I ended up in practice. So she persuaded me to come back to have a look at Edmonton, Canada. I'd never heard of Edmonton, Canada. I'd I, I thought Edmonton was a suburb in, in London, England. The U of A was a great law school, had a great law school. Marguerite had told me about some of the areas, and in particular, the oil and gas area with Alberta's strength in oil and gas. So my, my, my master's thesis, because I took a master's here, as I needed a, a second degree if I wanted to ever practice here, was in pipelines. My wonderful professor at the, at the U of A was Louis Gwynne Thomas, great Western Canadian historian, who really brought Western Canadian history to the fore and realized the importance of our own history, of teaching our own history. And that, for me, was the setup for making movies of our own history. Silence. Oh, Over all the 50 films or whatever, um, it's always been tremendously important to me to live in Edmonton. And accepting the award for Dale Phillips, Mr. Tom Radford of the NFB. Dale, I hope you're out there. Uh, thank you Within that time. home place, there's always been the university. Um, because the university is both, is both focused on who we are and focused on our relationship to the rest of the world. And I think good films do that.